What's up y'all? So today we're going to be fishing the Hampton Pocosin area, targeting some redfish. We're going to be fishing the backwater flats, up along the grass line, some drop offs, uh, and let's see what we can get into today. Hell yeah. Alright y'all, we got a gorgeous day out here. Like I said, we're going to be fishing these grass lines. We'll only be out here for a little bit. It's a lot calmer on this side. Uh, we're right on the other side of the Chesapeake Bay, on the, uh, on the river side. A lot of boat activity. There's a whole brigade of boats down there partying on the beach. We got this this guy flying through the backwaters. Let's see if we can find some fish. Come on. What is it? What is it? A little red fish. Huh. Little guy. Real small. Little guy. Maybe like 13 inches. Cute. Probably my smallest one I've ever caught. All right, see you later, buddy. Ugh. All right, another little redfish. Man, cannot see him. It was a little, little one. Twelve inches. Yeah, about twelve inches, eleven inches. All right. At least we're getting something. Yeah. Another little ass red. Tiny. It's getting smaller now. Alright, come on, buddy. All right, I can't get a good grip on you. There you go. Let's let you get back in the water so we can let you grow nice and big for all of us. It's crazy with these little reds, these like 12, 11 inch reds. Is it feels like a crab like just tries to grab my bait and then I take like two cranks and then that's when the fish starts fighting. So for like two cranks, two, three cranks, I feel like there's nothing on the line. I just felt like a thump. And then all of a sudden, like halfway to the boat, they start trying to take off. They're little, so there's not much of a fight. Oh, oh. and right there, tail biter. Man, little drum everywhere today. Okay, buddy. Yeah, little drum everywhere, another little like 11, 12 incher. See you later, buddy. Where's the big boys at? Another little one, they're everywhere today. Well, this one's got a lot of spots. Right. Oh, he's pooping on me. But uh, yeah, got some nice spots. A five on this side. Right, buddy. There you go. A little bit better. Still small, but a little better. Barely better, but just put up a better fight. Fourteen inches, maybe. Got that beautiful blue tail. You know, all types of good stuff, huh? Bye, buddy. At least we're finding fish, but there, these are some of the smallest reds I've ever caught. All right, a little speckled trout. Didn't even know he hit it. Oh, you're pretty. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. This thing's tiny. How little he is! Isn't that thing so cute? <laughs> eight, eight inches or so, maybe seven. Didn't even know he hit it. Another fish. Oh, a speckled trout. Probably about 14, 15 inches. All right. All right, nice 14 and a half inch speckled trout. That was about 15, actually. Real pretty. All right. Got both its fangs. We're gonna release it. I only like to keep around the 18 inch mark, 16 to 18. So, bye, buddy. Finally, something a little more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Finally, sorting through all the dinks. Oh, I need a little more reel on this. Oh, it's kicking the kayak. Okay, oh, that's a nice one. All right, all right, chill out, bud. Yeah, look at him go. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. 
over high. There we go. There's probably a keeper. Solid, man. Got to sort through all the dinks to find the nice ones. I figured that the bigger ones were going to be sitting farther offshore. So I started casting, instead of casting up on the shore, I've been casting like maybe like 10, 15 feet from shore. And uh, as soon as I started doing that, look, fish. Nice. And he's just over 20 inches. Nice. So we got dinner. Sweet. So guys, for all day I've been fighting trying to find, you know, any type of fish with size. You know, caught eight, eight reds and like one trout. N nothing over 14 inches. So I usually catch them right up along the grasses, you know, during high tide. Um, and maybe right on the drop off because they usually drop off pretty quick. But um, I figured since uh, all the fish, all the small fish seem to be staying shallow, maybe if I cast 15, 20 feet away, like I caught that fish maybe like 15 feet uh, away from this uh, little island of, of uh, grasses. And first cast, I'm thinking that might work, 20 inch redfish. So. Uh, See if we can find some more. All right, y'all. We're gonna call it a day. Guys, it's starting to look a little stormy. What is it? So uh, we're gonna head in, finish the day with that nice 20-inch redfish. Uh, you know, after sorting through all those dinks, we were only out here for a couple hours. But you know, I've never caught redfish that small, especially here. So you know, 11-inch, 12-inch redfish. I'm like, oh man, there's gonna be no, you know, maybe no keepers around, no slots. Well, we got lucky, we try, changed up our uh, tactic, uh, started fishing a little bit farther away from the grass, and, uh, and it worked out. So uh, we get to have dinner uh, this week. Hell yeah. Alright y'all, finished the day with a 20 inch redfish. Not complaining after sorting through all those dinks. Bye.